So when using Auto Rig Pro, you don't always get the best results for your hands. Um, and that can be quite frustrating to fix because you'll have to go in manually and retarget every single bone and like trying to position it correctly to fit your hands. And it could be a waste of time and then usually end up not giving ideal results, especially if you're making an in-game character. As you can see for the A pose, it severely messed up my hands and um, I'm going to show you how to fix it. So if you head over to Mixamo, um, it's a great auto rigger, especially for human bipedal uh, characters. Um, this tutorial is probably not ideal for a character with less than five fingers or paws or like any weird sort of hands just regular human hands but what you're going to want to do is rig your character up and then once you have the character just download the t-pose i already have my t-pose here so let's go back to blender and we're gonna make a new project and we're gonna open the t-pose that we just downloaded scale it up because it's quite small and um, all you really have to do to um, get rid of the ar armature that's already existing, I mean, you could use it, but chances are you want to use auto rig. What you're going to want to do is actually select one object and then select everything and do convert to mesh. And then once you have converted it to a mesh, you can delete your armature. And um, now you have that perfect T-pose. And then just RX 90 degrees to scale or rotate him back. And now you can start with auto rig. So the thing about putting it in a T-pose is that it's actually a perfect way for auto rig to detect the actual like wrist and hands and everything. And basically get your fingers locked on every time. And as we can see, my fingers and hands are perfectly matched and um, you actually won't get any wonky results um, especially when you later on like say transport this into a unreal engine or unity you won't have any like weird twisting or flipping when you do hand animations but yeah i hope this helps with uh, your auto rigging um it definitely is a neat little trick that I found that helps out a lot and it could be quite frustrating to um, position these exactly every time. Um, I mean you probably could just model it in a t-pose to begin with and not have these problems but I find this helps probably the best way. But yeah that's about it. See ya!